Hey guys, it's Wednesday. I'm back from work. I did read a little bit at work. I started reading the fifth season. I I got to page 230. I'm almost halfway through that book, so I'm, my goal is going to try and finish it tonight. That way I can get that book out of the way and don't have to worry about it. So that's the plan for the rest of the night is finish the fifth season. And I read one chapter of Star Psych by Brandon Sanderson at work today. So, but yeah, that's what I did today at work. So, I'm going to read more tonight. And I will update you guys once I've done so. So, I will talk to you guys then. Hey guys, good morning. It's Wednesday. It's 9.20 a.m. I did read more of the fifth season last night, and it's really interesting so far. I'm more than halfway done. I am hoping to finish that tonight when I get home. That way I can go ahead and return it to the library. So, but yeah, it's interesting. It's good. Will I ever reread it? Probably not. If I do, I will probably read the physical form, the physical book, and not the ebook. So, I think that's what's taking most of my enjoyment out of it that I'm reading the ebook and not the physical book. If I had the physical book, I would be flying through it right now. But, yeah, it's taking me over a week. But the chapters are, some of them are kind of long, so that's probably why. And it's a the book is based on a concept that I haven't read from yet, so it's new, it's interesting. Uh, we have these people who can become earthquakes, in my opinion. And that's what I'm gathering from the book, because they have someone called a ten ringer, and then they have nine ringers, and what have you, and those are numbers of an earthquake, so ten ringer being the biggest earthquake, and then going down, so, but yeah, it's interesting concept, so, um, but yeah, it's, it's good so far. I'm enjoying it. So yeah, I will update you guys when I finish the book, which will most likely be tonight. Hey guys, sorry for not vlogging the last day and a half. Uh, Wednesday I had a headache all day, so I did not read anything. But it is now Thursday. It's 7.21pm. And... I'm waiting for a live stream to start and I'm going to try and finish the fifth season tonight. I don't have much left. I want to have a little less than 100 pages left. So I'm going to try and finish that tonight. I'm going to get out of these clothes and put jammies on because I'm not going anywhere. But yeah. Wore this red, white, and blue plaid, and then some long shorts, because the uh, heat index today and throughout the weekend is going to be insane. 95 degrees Fahrenheit with a 100 degree heat index. So, it's going to be crazy this weekend. So, let's just say that, but I'm going to try to finish the fifth season tonight. And if I do that, I'm going to read more of Skyward, Starsight by Brandon Sanderson, which is the second book to Skyward. So, I'm going to get comfortable and just sit and read for the rest of the night, and I will update you guys as I go along. So, I'll talk to you guys later. Hey guys, it's still Thursday. It's now 7.52. As you can see, I changed into my jammies. And I finished the fifth season. It was really interesting. 
the way that they did the storyline, there's, it, it reads like there's multiple different characters, however, there's a twist. I'm not going to say what that twist is, but, because you find out at the end of the book who all the other characters actually are. So, there's maybe a little minor hint. And they're following different timelines of each of their past. So, it's really interesting. I enjoyed it. I gave it a four stars. So now, I'm going to read more of... Oops. Sun is finally going down. Can I get it? Star Sight by Brandon Sanderson and see how far of this I can get into tonight. So hopefully I can get pretty far and finish it over the weekend. This is my plan the rest of the night. Star Sight. I just finished my 10th book. This will be my 11th. And yeah, I'm gonna go and I will check back in with you guys later. Good morning guys. It's Friday. It's 10.30 a.m. I'm working from home today, which means most likely that I can just sit down, relax, and read for the most of the day. I'm staying inside because it's really, it's going to be really humid later this afternoon, so I mentioned it briefly yesterday, it's supposed to be 95 degrees Fahrenheit today with the heat index of 100, so... I'm not going outside at all today. So my plan today is to sit down and read as much of Starsight as I can. I did not touch this last night at all, even though I probably should have, but when I finished the fifth season I just needed a break from reading. But today's plan is this puppy and see how much of that I can read. It's 416 pages. It's not that long. And I only read a chapter. So I'm on chapter 2. So, But that's my plan for that. And then listen to the audiobook of Wayward Sun. And see how far on that I can get to. It's only 9 hours of the audiobook. So I can probably knock that one out today too. So, that sounds like the plan for today. I do need to film a video and get that uploaded today since it is Friday. It's my upload day. So, but yeah, I will go and I'll update you guys when I start reading. Hey guys, so it's much later, um, my best friend ended up coming over and we played a round of Monopoly and then she went home, I had dinner, I went for a walk, I asked my mom if I could go for a walk because it was so close to dusk, she normally doesn't let me walk that close to dusk, but she did this time and I was really happy about that, so no reading has gotten done yet today. I might do a 24 hour readathon tonight because the main one that I do every month, I don't think they're having one this month because they haven't opened the Discord yet, so I might just do my own little 24 hour readathon tonight. That way, actually, I can get some books read. The 36 hour polar mini polarathon meltdown starts tomorrow. So there is that. So I do have to get one book from the library tomorrow, which we're going. And then I have some other books that I could possibly use for that. I did already read one because it dealt with global warming, it dealt with um, earthquakes and whatnot. 
if you consider that global warming, but I have to scatter my shelves to see what else I have that can be global warming for mini polar thon meltdown. So, but yeah, I'll figure that out and I'll let you guys know what I'm reading for that. Will I stay up the whole 36 hours? Absolutely not. But I do want to finish Skyward, Starsight, second book, and then listen to the audiobook for Wayward Son, and then start Royal Assassin. So, I have three books, and then middle grade books to read. So, that's the plan for the next few days, and I will update you guys once I've done some reading, and I'm going to hopefully read some tonight. So, I will check in with you guys a bit later. Hey guys, it's Saturday. It's 1 p.m. Jade is doing sprints for Polar Thon Meltdown, and I got home from the library just in time. So I will be starting the longest book that I have, which I just got confirmed from Jade and someone in the chat. The ones we're meant to find does have climate con change, and this is the longest book on my TBR. This one has 370-ish pages, I believe. Yes. So, I will be starting this during the sprints. I don't know how long Jade is going for, so I might finish it during the sprints. We'll see. But this one's Climate Can Change. Then I've got one from the library that is for weather. And that is Eye of the Storm by Kate Messenger. Messen? I'm not sure how you pronounce that. But all I know is you can tell the cover there is a tornado. And then I have two for ice. I have either The Ice Wolves by Amy Kaufman. And then I have the Ice Monster by David Williams. So, And then the other book that I picked up because I thought it sounded interesting was When You Trap a Tiger by... It doesn't say the author. I want to say... Yeah. Doesn't have the author's name on here, but... Oh, no. Tay Keller is the author, so it looked interesting, so if I have time, I will read this. So, those are my, that's my mini Polarathon Meltdown TBR. We're going to get started and go from there, and I'll update you guys as I go along today. So, I am going to Barnes & Noble later today, so hopefully it's not during these sprints. So. But yeah, I'm going to start with the ones we're meant to find, because it is my longest book. And go from there, and I will update you guys later. Okay guys, it's a little bit later. It's 3.15pm, and I have been reading the ones we're meant to find, and I am actually by Joanne He, and I'm actually really enjoying this. This is definitely different. It does have climate change in here, but it's like everyone's living in a virtual reality kind of deal. Cody's reading it as well from Cody's Book Corner. But I'm enjoying this. I am on page, if I didn't say, 135 chapter 12, and it follows two siblings. One is in the current time and one is in I want to say another dimension but I'm not 100% sure yet but and the one who's somewhere else is trying to get back to her sister so and then the sister is trying to find out what happened to her sister so it's a little bit confusing but it's very interesting and it's a fast quick read. I've read 135 pages in just two sprints, so I'm 
have confidence that I can finish it today. Here is what the naked cover looks like. It's got waves on it and then the inside pages is an island is an abandoned island, which is where the one sister is at, and she's trying to get off the abandoned island. And this, on the back, up here, is where the other sister is, so, which is really interesting, and it's a really cool concept. I'm enjoying it, so I will update you guys when I finish it, and I will talk to you guys then. Here's the live stream for today. 200 pages into this book, which is really good. So. There's Chad. Okay, guys, it's 7 17 p.m. And I just finished The Ones Were Meant to Find by Jonah He. I really enjoyed this one. I actually gave this one four stars. It's a very interesting concept, which I've already explained what it was. So I gave it a four stars. It was really good. This completed my prompt for the Polarathon Meltdown for climate change. This definitely has climate change in it. So that prompt down. Next prompt is either ice or weather, so I don't remember which one is first. So I'm going to go for the weather prompt and read Start the Eye of the Storm by Kate Messer. Messiner? I'm still not sure how you pronounce her last name. Again, all I know it's about a tornado basically that rips through. And that's definitely weather, so, yeah, I'm going to start this middle grade, it's quite short, it's only 292 pages, so, if I finish this today, I will only have one more prompt left, so, I'm gonna start this, and I will update you guys a bit later, but right now I'm gonna take a little break from reading, and just kinda relax for a little bit because I haven't read a book in one sitting in a long time and I read this whole thing in one today basically so I read most of it in four hours and I just finished the last pages just now but again I haven't read a book like that in a long time so and it's a fast, quick read, so it's pretty, it's pretty doable to get that book read in a day. But now, I'm gonna go on to this one, and I'll update you guys later. Good morning, guys. It's Sunday. It's 10.59 a.m. Last night, I did start The Eye of the Storm. Last night, I got to chapter 7 page 52. It's really interesting. Definitely a lot of um, geometric no, not geometric the word for weather is called those neurologist terms in this. It's really interesting so far. I'm enjoying it. I'm going to finish this stuff today and then all I have left is my eyes prompt for meltdown but I'm going to Barnes and Noble to get near the future witches and a middle grade maybe we'll see but then I'm just going to come home and read for the rest of the day and I will update you guys later hey guys it's now 2.30 I was out longer than I anticipated so, I'm going to finish Eye of the Storm today and start that last book for the mini Polarathon Meltdown. 
I did go to Barnes & Noble and I got the book I was going for, but I also got two others and a new bookmark. So, the bookmark I got was this one, Wild About Reading. It's a fall, little themed bookmark with a little tassel on it. really like it. It's really cute. I got the next book to the Miss Bourne Trilogy, Hero of Ages. Our Barnes & Noble is low on bags, so I had to put it in my bag and it ripped when I was getting my wallet back out. So, boo, there's a little tear. That was my fault. So now I can finish, start Hero of Ages and finish off this trilogy. So, yay. I got that. Then I got Queen Takes Rose by Katie Roberts. This is the last and final book to the Wicked Villains series and the last one I need to read to finish off this series by Kate Roberts. And I am really enjoying this series. So this is Awara and I want to say someone else. I'm not 100% sure. So, but yeah. I know this follows Awara. She is mentioned in the previous books. So I got this one. The last book, the one I was going for, I couldn't find at first, but then I was walking out of Barnes & Noble into the mall and I found it on the display outside. And I'm glad I have it. And that is The Future of Witch The Nature of Witches by Rachel Griffin. A few people I know have already read this and enjoyed it, but underneath the dust jacket, if you guys can't already tell, there's this. And this is what caught my attention. I'm loving it. So I got that book. Again, I know nothing about it, so we are just going to go into this blindly. So I'm very looking forward to reading this either in September or October. So that was my little mini haul from Barnes & Noble today. So, but yeah, I'm going to finish Eye of the Storm this one here and I will update you guys when I do so so I'll talk to you guys later hey guys it's much later it's 9 26 p.m. and I just finished the uh, eye of the storm by Kate messenger Messen I'm not sure how you pronounce it I can't pronounce it at all so I'm not even gonna try anymore this was really interesting how they how this author did the plot that revolves around tornadoes and our main character Jaden, whose parents are divorced, her dad is remarried and has a, another daughter, and she goes and lives with him for the summer and attends a camp because she is very much into meteorology, weather, all of that, just like her father is. And then she finds out, she learns some, she learns a dark secret that her father kept. And I don't know if they ever meant for it to get out. But it was a really interesting concept. I gave this a 3 out of 5 stars. So, that book, this is for the weather prompt. For the polar dawn meltdown is done. Now, since I still have time... I don't know if I'll finish it tonight, but I'm going to start The Ice Monsters by David Williams and see how far in this I can get to tonight. So, I'm going to start this, and then I will update you guys later. It ends at midnight tonight, I think. 36 hours, yeah. Or tomorrow at midnight. I'm not sure when, but... I'm going to finish this, start and finish, start this, and hopefully finish it, and then I'll update you guys when I get about maybe halfway. We'll see. This one is a bit longer. This is 332 pages. This is one less page than the other one, so I'm going to read this for my eyes prompt, and I will check back in with you guys a bit later. 
Okay guys, it's 11.11 11 p.m. and I've been reading The Ice Monster by David Williams and it's really interesting so far. It's about an orphan who one day goes to the Natural Museum of History in London and they find out they bring a mammoth to the museum and then she meets the cleaning lady and goes on an adventure and it's really interesting so far it's set in London in 1899 this is the story of a 10 year old orphan and a 10,000 year old mammoth so I'm enjoying it so far I'm on page 138 chapter 33 it's a quick read and the chapters are really really short so that's a plus gonna read more of this before I go to bed I'll let you guys know in the morning what page or what chapter I end up on and I'll update you guys then hey guys good afternoon it's Monday it's 12 54 p.m. I'm waiting for my best friend to text me because we're supposed to hang out in a little while um, but I did read more of The Ice Monster last night by David Williams. I got to page 138, which is chapter 33. These are very short chapters. It's a very fast-paced read. It's also interesting. So, hopefully I can finish this one today knock this out. This will be book 13 for the month. And because I couldn't sleep last night, I should have been reading this, but I didn't read it. Last night, I started, hopefully, to finish it before the month is over. That way I can say I finished a series this month. And that is, I started Queen Takes Rose by Katie Robert. This is the sixth book in the Wicked Villain series. This follows Aurora and she's called Malone <coughs> in this, but I think this is based off that original tale. So I don't know who or what Maleficent's actual name is in the original tale. So this follows Aurora and Malone who are mentioned in the first five books constantly. So, I read to page 42 last night. I stopped in the middle of a chapter, which I normally don't do, so. But, yeah, I'm hopefully going to finish this one today or tomorrow. That way, most likely today. Depends on how long I hang out with my best friend. This one is only... 552 pages, so that's it, and I'm excited to see where this goes, so, but yeah, I'm enjoying it so far, so, those were the two books I'm in the middle of, I'm also still in the middle of Star Sight by Brandon Sanderson, but that one's just a little bit slow, and I don't know if I'll finish it before the end of the month. I am hoping to. So, but right now my main priority are these two books. Today slash tonight. So, that's my plan. But I'm gonna go and I will update you guys when I start reading. So I'll talk to you guys later. Hey guys, so it's 8.14 on Monday. I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up with this week's reading blog. I did pretty good this week. I don't know if I mentioned it last week, so I'm going to mention it here. Excuse the jets if you can hear them. They just started flying over. But I finished Fall of Ascension by Brandon Sanderson on Monday, which I gave this a 5 out of 5 stars, I believe, or a 4.5 out of 5 stars. One of the two. It was really high up there, really enjoyed it, so this one is done. Then I finished The Fifth 
season by Anna K. Jemison, and I gave this one a 4 out of 5 stars. I enjoyed it. Different, interesting, different concepts, but I really did enjoy it, so I gave that 4 stars. I finished that on Thursday. Yesterday, for the Polarathon, mini Polarathon meltdown, I finished The Ones We Are Meant to Find by John, Jonna E. He and I gave this a 4 out of 5 stars. I really enjoyed this one. The concept was also definitely interesting. So you'll have to stay tuned for the vlog for more of my thoughts. But I did really enjoy this. Definitely interesting concept. The last book I finished, which is book number four, which is for also for Mini Polar Earth on Meltdown. Um, ones we are meant to find was for climate change. And then Eye of the Storm, I'm not going to try and pronounce the author's name, but it's right there. This was for weather, and this was definitely, obviously you can see there's a tornado in the cover. It's definitely also interesting, I really enjoyed, so there's that one. I started two more books, and those two books are for my ice for Polarathon, which I did not finish, I'm halfway through. And that is The Ice Monster by David Williams. This one's interesting as well. This follows an orphan who goes to the Natural Museum of History in London and they bring a mammoth in there. And they meet someone who's hiding in the museum and they try and bring back this mammoth back to life. So that's basically what this concept is. But it's really interesting. I like it so far. So hoping to finish it soon so I can get this out of the way and then the last book I started because I couldn't sleep the other night was Queen Takes Rose by Katie Roberts I'm enjoying this one this one follows Aurora and Malone like I mentioned I'm only on page 82 of this one so like I said, I'm enjoying it, so overall, a really good reading week plus the fifth season, so again, I got four books down, started two more, and yeah, if you made it this far, leave the book stack emoji and let me know down below what you guys read this week, I would love to know. And all of my social medias will be linked down below. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.